And so Jesus foresaw or foreknew that the disciples, these 11 guys, imperfect dudes, right? Who on this night, he's about to be crucified. He's told them a couple times. Yet on this night, they're arguing of, about who would be greatest among them. Such a, these 11 guys, messed up, ordinary, ordinary people, you know, yet God is about to do amazing things through these men once they are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Once they are born again and filled with the Spirit, God's going to use them to start the church, to spread the gospel, but he foreknew that they would succeed. Right? Because you can't pray for future believers unless he believes that the disciples are going to succeed in spreading the gospel. Amazing. I would not put that much uh, clout in myself looking back these 19 years I've walked with the Lord. I'm glad that God believes that you and I, if we're yielded to him, can do things that are so beyond this world amazing. But that's the God that we serve and love. He's a father who sees those who give their hearts to him. And I mean give their hearts to him. Not half-stepping, not sometimes. People that are done with the old life and, are, and walk with God, what he does in their lives is phenomenal. It's amazing. John would say, if we were to write down all the miracles that Jesus has done, I suppose there wouldn't be libraries enough in the world to supply the books. You and I are part of those miracles. Yeah. And think of all that Jesus has done with people throughout history that have, been, have given themselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And it doesn't matter where they have all, we have all come from. We could have been the worst of the worst in the deepest, darkest gutter. Yet the Lord in His grace, when He pulls a man or a woman out from that, and they are grateful enough to say, Lord, what do you want me to do? I am done with my old life. Boy, Amen. He begins to turn this world right side up. 